Hey guys, your favourite strongman, auntie and uncle are back. We've had a nice little break. We've had a lovely break. We've had a nice week away in Egypt. We've spent some lovely time with the kids. But we're sick of them now, so we are back to report on strongman again. I've missed this. I forgot how to work the camera. I was sat here wondering what the hell I'm going to do. But talking of things being back, the Arnolds is back. 2022, we have the return of the Arnold Strongman Classic. We brought you the athletes before Christmas, before we went away. We now know the events. So the events actually came out a few weeks ago and we've had time to digest this information now. And it's interesting and it's exciting and I love it. It is, it's a, it's a different looking set of it. I know we've seen some of these before, Yay. but there is no deadlift this year. There's no deadlift. And there's a mother flipping max squat. Max squat. In the nearly 20 years I've done strongman, I have not been able to do a max squat in competition. I would have loved this. And they are going to do a max squat instead of the deadlift. I'm sure if you make some phone calls, Lozzy. No, no, no. I'm, I'm way past it. My left knee is way past it. And now I've got to sit and decipher who I think will win and who I think it's going to suit. But I, I am... Really looking forward to seeing how this turns out. And it'll be interesting to see what kind of rules are used. Mm. I'm going to guess that they're going to go very similar to the way they do the deadlift. Yes. So the way they do the deadlift at the Arnolds, the athletes get to pick their numbers, just like you would in a powerlifting competition. Mm -hmm. Three attempts. Yeah. No suits at the Arnolds. Yeah, with the deadlift, the deadlift, there's never been suits. I'm going to guess again, there'll be no suits for the, for the squat. Now, these are things we will find out yeah. as we get closer to the event. But lots of questions to be asked, things to think about what suits different athletes and we're going to go through everything here today so lizzie very quickly let's go through the athletes and the events that we will be seeing in the 2022 arnold classic so we know the list of invited athletes and they are from canada maxime boudreau also from canada jf karam america's rob kearney the terminator from poland mateusz kilioszkowski 2019 World Strongest Man, Martins Lysis. The 2020 Amateur Arnold Strongman World Championships winner, Yevgeny Markov. Winner of the 2021 Shaw Classic, Trey Mitchell. 2020's World Strongest Man, Alexei Novikov. The current Europe Strongest Man, Luke Stoltman. And of course, the current World Strongest Man, Tom Stoltman. It's a spicy lineup. Indeed. It's an incredible lineup of athletes. If they all like, that's the invited list of athletes. Well, they've all agreed as well. I think. Oh, they've, there we go. they've all accepted <laughs> the invitations. The question is, who focuses on this? Who focuses on other competitions? Yes. Now we'll go into that in a minute. I want to firstly bring you the events. So starting off, max squat, three attempts. We're presuming no suits. Powerlifting style. Yeah, oh, it's going to be interesting to see if they have three judges. Do they have one judge? These mm. are things that I've I've seen a lot of things happening recently. Big deadlifts and dodgy refereeing dodgy and referee. stuff like that. That's going to be in another video. Mm. But refereeing needs to be good now. Yes. I'm, I'm fed up of questionable world records. I'm quite fed up of questionable calls. <laughs> Strongman's getting bigger. We've got to make sure these things are done properly. Event number two is the Sear Dumbbell. 124 kilos for repetitions on the dumbbells. One hand, 124 kilos. That's pretty shocking. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> Talking of overhead, we've got a max log this year at That's the Arnold's. Crazy. Also three attempts. Three attempts. We've never seen a max log at the Arnold's. We've seen yeah. the ridiculously heavy log for reps, mm. but we've never seen a max log done at the Arnold's. I love that they're shaking it up this year. After the dumbbell as well. I mean, your shoulders would be nicely warmed up. Yeah. <laughs> then we've got the timber frame carry. So we've seen this many mm. times at the Arnold's. I'm presuming... It's 400 kilos, which is ridiculous, but I'm presuming at the 400 kilos, they're going without straps, yeah. which is the way I like to see it done. Mm. And then finally, they have the stone to shoulder, 186 kilo stone from the floor up to your shoulder as many times as possible. We've seen it, I think, three times now at the Arnold's. Yeah, we've seen it a few times. And I think Kiliaszkowski has won it. Yes, he three has. Three times. But we're going to go into, we're going to overanalyze each event now and look at who on paper should do well in each event. Well, you've really delved deep oh, into this, Oh, I always you? do. I get carried away. Liz loves the analytical side of things, which is, I find it interesting as well, but sometimes you just have to go with raw human emotion 
understanding how the athletes process. Oh, like I don't understand how an athlete processes. Well, I, I, I think we both give a nice little differing of a opinion. A well-rounded uh, We do. We both, we both have a good understanding of both. Yes. But I'll, I'll explain some of my reasons to, to question the, stati the statistical numbers mm. in a little while. Right, Lizzie, tell us what you've got. Right, so starting with the squat. Now, it's very, very impossible to predict because we, don't, we do not see max squat. And squat for reps doesn't necessarily mean... Like the, the the best squatter for reps doesn't. So proud of you! You're, you've been listening to me. It isn't necessarily <laughs> going to be the biggest overall squatter. Yeah, no, no, I have. I do listen sometimes. It, it, it's weird. Some people will think he got eleven squat. reps there, so he must have yeah. the biggest squat overall. There, there's so many factors that yeah. come into play. You know, I beat IPF world record holders at squat for reps. I'm a, I'll openly admit here. I'm a better squatter for reps than I am for squ squatter for max. Doesn't mean I'm not good for max. No. But you get certain lifters, they're very, very good for one rep. Yeah. There's other guys that have great endurance. So someone like, I think Lissis. Yes, Lissis is great when there's a squat for reps. Yeah. I don't think Lissis is going to go and beat the world powerlifting champion at a one rep max squat. No. You know, someone like JF Caron, very, very good max squatter. He's competed in powerlifting mm. before. I think a squat for max suits someone like that. I think so too. And what's frustrating about this is we have so little squatting data on most of these strongmen because the only place we consistently see it is world's strongest man. And that's the normally just in the group stages. Yeah, so not even every guy does it. So Evgeny Markov, for example, I have no history of him squatting in a competition. I I, I don't know. Don't know. Well, he's, he's a bit of an unknown quantity in the whole competition. Yeah. Um, but let's see what you've got. Okay. So on the screen now, what you can see is the bits of information I do have about the guys. It's not a completely exhaustive list, but it's key information, I think. At the top, I've got the guys with probably the best track record in each event, and at the bottom, maybe no data, or maybe it's a poor event for them. So at the top, as you can see, JF Karan. Now, JF, he's squatted a lot in competition. He's done a lot of competitions. He has <laughs> done a lot of competitions. 15 times I've got him squatting in competition and he's won the squat nine times out of 15, but he's consistently high every single time. Now, obviously it is always for reps. So how that's going to translate to a, a max squat. Well, JF's someone that has done max squat in yes. powerlifting competition. So yeah. I think it's going to suit him. I think he's used to squatting with and without suits. Mm. So again, I'd expect a consistent performance. Whether he wins the squat or not, that's going to be debatable, but I certainly expect to see him getting good points yeah. in a squat now another really interesting thing we need to think about is the guys could really mess up on the numbers you know that that could cost someone on the win if they call the numbers wrong well these know? these are things that we still don't know facts that no. we don't know we're, we're guessing that it's going to be done like the deadlift has yeah. been done at the arnold's before but at the moment it is all pure guessing so the athletes will probably be thinking Max squat is going to be done like that, but we don't know no. what's happening 100%. So they're going to, you're always going to want to come in with a safe first lift, mm. uh, particularly in such a prestigious competition. There's, it's not like you're just going for a world record. If you're just going for a world record, you go for broke. Yeah. But in a competition, you be you have to be strategic. Yeah. So I'd expect to see safer first lifts, something pretty big on your second, and then you go for broke or... or you try and get points. Yeah, because let's not forget, this is still the first event of the overall Absolutely. competition. How much does a max squat take out of you? It can it can be tough. Mm -hmm. I, I'd actually say max reps is worse than a max yeah. squat. So in that respect, I think it's better. Mm. But in the nearly 20 years I've done Strongman, I've never seen a proper max squat. No event in a strongman competition so i'm i'm looking forward to it i'm looking forward to how and seeing who wins it and seeing how it affects i want to see the setup as well mm. another person with a great track record in the squat is martins who out of the six times i've seen him do it in competition he's won it five times yeah martins is a lovely squatter and you know someone if you're going to watch technique and, and learn from someone how to squat go and watch martins very very nice real honest squats like I said before, I think the squat for reps suit him more, mm. but obviously you still expect him to score big points. Um, and the, the real other question, I mean, there's a load of great squatters in this. We won't go through yeah. every single person for every lift um, right now. But the real question, or the real interesting thing for me, is Kilius Kovsky. Mateus, yes. He was the next star. Uh... <laughs> yeah, so Mateus, we know he doesn't do well in deadlift. No. Squatting, I don't think he's going to 
win the squat. No, no. But I certainly believe, and, and I'm sure you've got record for him doing okay on squats. Yeah. He's a much better squatter than he is deadlifter. He's going to take away more points squatting than he would deadlifting. And I think the same would be said for Luke Stoltman as well. Mm. Now, Luke hasn't squatted that much in competition, but... When you look at Luke and his lower body in particular, that man is built to squat, isn't he? <laughs> he's got a, what we like to call a squatter's ass. He's got, he's thick, <laughs> isn't he? <laughs> he, yeah. no, he is definitely built to squat and, you know, seeing a squat in there, log for max in there, he's going to be excited. So event number two is the sear dumbbell for repetitions. 90 mm. seconds, 124 kilos, as many reps as possible. Now, there's a number of really good dumbbell presses in this. You've got three obvious names. Yes. So, Kiliuszkowski, the current dumbbell for max world record holder. Mm -hmm. You have Novikov, who absolutely smashed the dumbbell at the Rogue Invitational. Yeah. Done some ridiculous things in the gym. I think he's actually exceeded the 150 kilo max dumbbell in training. Um, Martins Lucis performs very consistently on it. And Yevgeny Markov mm -hmm. also posting up some incredible numbers in training. Now, training is not the same as competition. I'll point that out. But yeah. he's he's just not got that background to, to prove that he's done it in competition no, no. as many times. Yeah. So I'm interested to see how he does. Yeah, definitely. He's definitely going to be one to watch in this event. But I think... <sighs> All eyes are going to be on Mateusz. Oh my God, I hope it goes well for him. It's going to be a psychological affair. And that's just for us watching. <laughs> <laughs> but for him, very much so. I mean, he came third at the Rogue Invitational um, behind Martins. Him and Martins were the only guys to do three. Alexi was the only guy to do five. I mean, I can't see anyone beating Alexi on this. I think really? it's... Really? Yeah, really. Mm. Yeah, I think even Alexi if, Even if Kiliszkowski was 100%. I think, yeah, even if Kiliuszkowski is 100%, that little seed in his mind, it's, Alexei doesn't have it. He's going to yeah, be going gung-ho. It's a very different thing once you've gone, you've experienced that injury. Yes. Because, and I can tell you from experience. Yes. <laughs> Pre-injury, you are relentless. Yeah. You just think you're indestructible. And that's Alexi. He is supremely yeah. confident on this event. When you've suffered a bad injury, even mm -hmm. when you recover and you kind of, mm -hmm. you, you gain that confidence... You always have that little doubt in the back of your mind. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, it's just that first rep. I think once he gets past that first rep, he'll be able to settle into it. But so. you're already giving up maybe 10 seconds of pace in, in that. Yeah. And then it, it does cost you in terms of overall points at the end. So a few other guys who've picked up some rather heavy dumbbells in the past. Rob Kearney, he's done 124 kilos at the Arnold Strongman Classic before, Sear Dumbbell. And obviously Luke Stoltman, he did well at the... Britain's Strongest Man dumbbell run, but not so well a week later at Rogue, but maybe fatigue. And Britain's Strongest Man maxed out 120. Yes, it did, yes. Yes, but medleys a... are always harder though, aren't they? When it's part of a medley, you say it yourself. Oh yeah, there's no question about it. It's, it's definitely harder. I think this is a, a ridiculously tough dumbbell. Mm -hmm. It's um, when I sort of think about when I was competing on my prime, 100 kilos, 105 kilos was sort of standard weight yeah. for reps. Now <laughs> it's 125 and, you know, that's more than I've ever done for one rep. Yeah. It's more than some of these guys have done for one rep. Yeah. And then there's guys that can rep it as well. It's it's mental to, to think. But I think those three guys we really mentioned and maybe Yevgeny Markov mm. are, the, are the people to look out for on the dumbbell. So talking of Luke Stoltman, the next event is the Log for Max and he is someone that will be looking to excel when it comes to Log for Max. Yeah, definitely. So Luke has the biggest log lift in this competition with 221 kilos, followed by Rob Kearney, who has 216 in him, and then Mateusz Kiliuszkowski with 214. I know we were discussing off air about um Lysis's log yes because you pointed out to me that his own his best log for max in competition is around 180 kilos yeah in an actual log for max it's 180 at summer mania 2017 however he has done the austrian oak 195 for two reps at the arnold strongman classic so he's so. good for around the 200 kilo mark yeah definitely it's it's interesting to see like what people have done in competition isn't always what they, they maybe have done in, in the gym. No. Um, and when you look at the most someone's lifted actually in competition, it's very interesting sometimes. So the top three guys in this competition 
Luke Stockman, Luke Stockman. Rob Kearney, and then Kiliuszkowski. Yeah. Interesting. Some other people to look out for. Trey Mitchell, he did 206 at this year's Shaw Classic. And Maxime Boudreau did 205 kilos at the World's Strongest Man final. Do you think Zadrunas will be looking at this, wishing he would have got this opportunity? Yes, at the Arnold's, yeah. definitely. He would have loved to. Yeah, of course, of course. Anyway, moving on mm -hmm. from the log, we move on to the timber carry. An old favourite, one that I, I've touched this timber. It's a beautiful bit of kit. Um, and it's actually got a fair bit of history in the Arnold's. A number of these guys yeah. would have done it before. I'm sure you have information for us. Yeah, so five guys have used this piece of kit. And Kiliuszkowski quite famously won this at the 2020 Arnold Strongman Classic. I think he did it in like seven seconds. It was something outrageous. And we know that Kiliuszkowski is really good at frame carry as well. Yeah, he, he's rapid. Martins, the best he's done on this kit was third at the 2020 Arnold Strongman Classic, and he's also pretty good at frame. Rob Kearney, he wasn't able to move it in the 2020 Arnolds. Now, without going back and watching, I can't remember why, but I do know that Rob's frame isn't a great event. It's not a great yeah, event. Rob's incredible at yoke. When it comes to frame, he's not so good. Small hands. According to Liz, <laughs> Rob Kearney has small hands. <laughs> Sorry, Rob. He's got his little hands. <laughs> now, Alexi is a really interesting one for me on this. Now, in 2020, he only came seventh on this event. He is very, very good at a frame carry with straps. I think grip could really be the deciding factor for him if they're not allowed to use straps, which we're presuming at this point they're not. I hope it's done without straps. I, yeah. I do. Um, they have used straps at the Arnolds before when they went, I mean, like I said, 400 kilos is stupidly heavy. Yeah. But they've gone even heavier than that yeah. at the Arnolds a couple of years ago. Um, I think up the ramp, 400 kilos should be done without straps. And yeah, I mean, we know how fast he is. Absolutely rapid. From watching a number of the Giants live shows mm. in 2021, he was absolutely blisteringly fast. Uh, all with straps. All of those were with straps, yes. So we will see, does it affect him a little bit more when you can't use the straps? Mm. Who else do we look out for then on a frame carry? Well, see, now Tom's a really interesting one because obviously they had a frame at the 2021 um, World Strongest Man final in the Giants medley and Tom won the Giants medley. However, historically, frame has not been a good event for him. But like when, uh, you know, we said this off air again, uh, I said it's probably psychological with Tom. Like uh, Tom, when he's like, I'm going to win, he just wins, you know? And I think he could do brilliantly on this, but I also think he could do not good at all. It, I just it, don't know. It's, it's interesting. You're absolutely right. With Tom, it comes down to, to mindset and whether this competition means as much yes. to him as, say, as some other competitions yeah. do. And I think, again, for the Stoltmans, they have Britain's Strongest Man the week before. Is it the week before? It's the week or two weeks before. Oh, God. So it's, it's close... <laughs> It's I know it's close again. End of February is, is Britain's Strongest yeah, Man. Yeah, yeah, you're right. This is early March. Mm. So, yeah, for, for me, I mean, I think Luke, uh, sorry, I think Tom really wants to win another World's Strongest Man title. I do too. And I don't think this is a brilliant set of events for Tom, not considering who he's up against. <sighs> yeah, I actually I actually think it's a good set of events for Luke. I think it's better for Luke, yeah. And not, not so, you know, this is, takes nothing. I think Tom could go to the Arnolds and do exceptionally well. Of course he can. But. Is it important to him? This is the question. Is he willing to? I, I know that Lissis sees the Arnolds as his number one priority. Mm. Lissis wants to win the Arnold. He's won, you know, what he considers all the other big shows. Yeah. This is the one he wants to win. Tom focuses on Worlds. Yeah. He wants to win Worlds multiple times, go down as one of the, the most dominant World's Strongest Men in history. Alexei and Kiliuszkowski want to win everything. <laughs> yes, absolutely. But um, <laughs> Kiliuszkowski so far hasn't won the Arnold's all No, but he's come so close. And I know, so we, we know him, you know, we know how much the Arnold's means to him. Mm. I think it's, it's going to be a show. I mean, before we go into that debate, let's talk about the last event. Okay. Which is the stone to shoulder. And again, I mean, we're talking Kiliuszkowski. It's an event he's dominated at the Arnold's. Yeah. All three times he's done it at the Arnold's, he's won this event. And he won the 
trial by stone. He knows how to handle his stones. Now, not everyone has done a stone to shoulder. Maxime did it recently at the Magnus Fair Magnuson Classic and he won it. However, it's a very different lineup to what we're going to see at the Arnold's. But we know that Maxime is excellent at stone. So it's safe to assume he's going to be able to get his yeah, stones to his shoulders. Same goes for Tom. We know Martins is good at this event. He's come second to Kiliushkovsky at the Arnold Strongman Classic in this. Even though we haven't seen him do it before, Trey Mitchell is very good at stones. Rob Kearney did really well at the trial by stone. He can handle a set of stones. We know Luke's good at stones. It's going to be a, an interesting very, it's one. A, it's so different to Atlas stones. But <laughs> if a guy is really strong at Atlas stones, it's safe to presume he can continue that roll up. <laughs> is it's it? It's safe to presume. It's safe from, to presume. From the armchair. <laughs> from my armchair. My very comfortable armchair. <laughs> it's not an event. I mean, I've done I've done stones to my shoulder. Yeah. But this isn't an atlas stone. No, it's a it's natural an stone. It's an awkward natural stone. Yes. And that makes it even more difficult. You've got to understand how to, you know, maneuver that stone over your yeah. body. And, and Kiriuskovsky seems to have worked it out better than anyone. Yeah. He's really excelled at it. I should imagine some of the guys have done it now a few times will be better again. Yeah. It's usually the case once the, these guys have had their hands on equipment, they tend to get better each year. Um, but no reason he doesn't get better as well. Well, exactly. I mean, look, going on paper, with no deadlift, with the events that we've got... It's Mateusz's to lose. Well, I wasn't going to say that, but it's a oh. great <laughs> looking contest for him. Yeah, it really is. You know, I really, I really want to see Mateusz do well. But he's notoriously put so much pressure on himself that it, he makes mistakes because of that. Yeah. And someone like Lysis seems to be able to be very good at just getting it right. Holds it holding, together better. Yeah, holding yeah. that, you know, coping with that pressure a little bit better, getting past the finish line. It's a skill to, to win competitions. Of course. But Mateusz has won many competitions. He's won many competitions, but he's not won the major competitions. But he can. I totally he agree. Will. <laughs> I, I, I totally agree. And I, I want to see it happen. But thus far, it's we see it in all sports. You know, these amazing yeah. athletes that sometimes just can't win those major, major titles. Get over the line. And sometimes once you win one, then they, they come all in floods. Keep coming. But <laughs> yeah. Getting that first one is very, very difficult. And you know, we have seen it in other sports where you get these incredible athletes that just can't manage to win the major, major shows. Even Tom, Tom Stockman, yeah. for a while in strongman, he's he's finally got across that finish line, but. And, and Luke as well, you know, mm. he hadn't won anything for a long time, then suddenly mm. he's winning titles. They've opened the floodgates now. Yeah, getting that first big, I mean, first major one we're talking, you know, Worlds and Arnold's, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the major, major shows. Last year, the um, Rogue Invitational, that mm. was a, a major show. And, and Lysis is very good at just getting it right. When you compare the two on paper... When you look at, you know, you've looked into what they've done in events. I think Kiriuskovsky is the man to beat. Yeah. He will hate hearing that. Yeah. No, I don't know. <laughs> he does. You know, he's so humble and, you know. He's very humble. Yeah, he's too humble. But he, he does believe in himself. Yeah. There's no question about that. He wouldn't yeah. feel the nerves if he didn't believe he could live up to these kind of expectations. Yeah, so I think it's going to be a really, really good show. Very interesting with a few different events thrown in there, particularly the squat. Um, what do guys like Tom and Luke do? Do they consider yeah. this as something really important to them? Because yeah. I know, I know for Novikov, I know for Kiliushkovsky, I know for Lysis, this is major. Yeah, you know, and, and for most of these guys, I mean, Rob Kearney, you know, um, Trey Mitchell, it, it's, it, the Arnold is huge. To be fair, though, everyone was saying about. You know, I mean, oh, the Stockmans aren't taking Rogue seriously. Maybe they should step out and all this kind of stuff because they didn't even know if they were going to be able to travel at that point. Yeah, you know, they they find out a few weeks before, yeah, we definitely can go. They've probably not trained for it at all. He's just one Britain's Strongest Man. And Tom came second. Absolutely. And they've all had a nice break. A lovely Christmas break. <laughs> it's what they all needed. They need to, their body yes. to be refreshed. And that's the great thing with the Arnolds. You do go from that end of season kind of hecticness to mm. you get Christmas out of the way. And then it is literally all they focus on is the Arnolds. Mm. Unless you're the Stoltmans who have Britain's Strongest Man to focus on. Europe's Strongest Man. So you've got eight man. guys here that are just focused on the Arnolds. Yeah. Two guys... Are they split between two comps? It's more than possible to train for two comps. Of course. And there'll be similar events in each. It's just 
you do as an athlete decide something is more important than, you than have another. To. Now, give us some predictions, Lazo. <laughs> My predictions. Are I want th- a top five. <laughs> a top five. Yeah, that's what we said All we right. do. All right. You said it. Here we go. Based on everything we've mentioned. Yeah. Big factor that he comes in healthy. Yeah. Mateusz gets the win. Oh, I thought you were going to say Martins. No. Martins, second place. Yeah. Third. Controversial. Ooh. JF Caron. I think it's good events for JF. Max Squat is really good for JF. Yeah. Dumbbell, mm. mid pack. Max Log, mid pack at best. Oh. Timber carry, okay. mid pack. Just because I know. Stone to shoulder, okay. mid pack. Okay. I'm not being rude. No, I no, love no. JF. Yeah, I, 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 I have to agree with you there. I think I think Evgeny Markov is going to be worth watching. I think I he could do top think five. He, yeah. I, like, look. There we are, don't know enough about Evgeny. We haven't seen him compete at Novikov. this level. Novikov. How, how can I not mention Novikov? Novikov. You know, especially Come when. On. I have to agree with you on certain things. I think Novikov. Struggles more on the, the frame in this show. Yeah. I think Dumbbell he excels at. Yes. I think Log, there's guys that can beat him. But I think he'll place in the top third on Log. He'll place, he'll place consistently. I think Squat, there's guys that can beat him. Mm-hmm. And when I say guys that can beat him, a few guys. I'm not saying, you know, he, he's an amazing all-round strongman. Yeah. I just don't look at these set of events as his best set of events. No. Um... It's really hard. It's really hard. I mean, Trey Mitchell could do really well at a few events. Trey could do He's not so good at something like frame carry. He could, no. he could potentially come last on the frame yeah. in, in this kind of lineup. Uh, it's really hard. I think I, I'm going to stick with Kiliszkowski as my winner. Yeah. This is second place. And then God knows after that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you want me to help you? Oh, you, you don't have to help me. You just go for your own predictions. Okay. Mateusz. Yep. Martins. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> See the reason Alexi. I'm, the reason I'm not no. putting Tom in my top three is I think Tom focuses on Britons and then I think he focuses on worlds. Same, same. I think though I think these are good events for Luke. I, I agree. Squat. Log for Max. You know, dumbbell and he could be really good these at. These guys aren't going to want to come to... This is their first time at the Arnold's. Europe's strongest man, world's strongest man. You're not going to want to go there and half ass it, are you? In oh, front no, of that no, no, crowd. No. They're going to want to do a really good job. I, I still think that. Ooh. but And I think they're better events for Luke than they are for Tom. Mateusz, Martins. Ooh. Luke, Alexi. Uh, it's, and then Tom, or Trey, or Evgeny, <laughs> this, this is, this or is Liz, This is Liz helping me out here. Or Kenny. <laughs> I think we both agree. Or Maxine. We both agree Kiliszkowski and Lysis are probably the two top favourites looking at the events. Yeah. Understanding their mentality going towards this show. Yeah. Never count out Novikov. Never. Never. Never count out Tom Stoltman. No, of If Tom Stoltman not. comes in and says, I'm winning the Arnolds, I'll look at him and say, you're winning the Arnolds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <You know>? Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> Just from what I've heard and, and, you know, from speaking to him, I feel his focus is going to be Britain's and Worlds. Yeah, And I potentially think so, even Europe's. Too. Yeah. But um, I could be wrong. Yeah. Yeah, it's... It's, it's well, hard. It doesn't it's... happen very often, but it, oh, it could, my could be... <laughs> But whatever happens, it's going to be fun. I think the build-up's going to be good. You know, once Christmas is out of the way, everyone's focused on the Arnolds. Mm. All the athletes, they'll be training hard for it. There's the women's coming up as well. We'll talk yeah. about that in a separate video. Mm. But let us know if you're as excited as us. Let us know if you're as torn between athletes as we are. You know, it, it could really... It, you just never ever no. no. I'm going to stick with my guns. I'm saying... <laughs> Your guns, you've only got two. Well... <laughs> I think that's fair. <laughs> you pick picking, picking out five is, you know, I've, I've picked out first and second. Oh, congrats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fine, Dad. To be fair, I, I wasn't much better. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys do any better than us? It's good to be back. We 
clearly have had too much time off. We hope you all enjoyed your Christmas break and are looking forward to the 2022 Strongman season just as much as we are. It's going to be crazy. If we thought 2021 was mad, 2022 is, it, the calendar is full. It's great. It, it is good. I'm so excited. We just need January to go away and then bam, February we're in. Please remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy. No, don't enjoy. We've forgotten how to close videos again. Just smile and wave, smile and wave. Easier being an athlete, I'm telling you. <laughs> All I cared about then was focusing on me winning. I didn't have to worry about everyone else. I'm closing a video. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're off. While you're here, guys, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my awesome strength content.